All right, so my firearm is completely unloaded. I'm gonna put my empty mag inside the gun though, and I'm gonna just run it that way for tonight's purpose. And uh, what I actually wanted to kind of get into is presenting the firearm. As far as firearm uh, presentation, there's a lot of different things, uh, but the one that just, it, it honestly, it makes me a little uh, nervous when I'm out at a gun range is the rainbow effect. So I'm gonna put this inside of a holster for a minute and show you what I mean by that. So sometimes when someone goes to draw the firearm, they grab their gun, they press it straight down, and they rainbow it up. At some point, sure, their other hand's gonna come up to it. But the, the reason I don't love that is uh, the biggest reason is when you have it down towards your toes, if you were to have an accident, you could shoot yourself pretty easily like that. Um, but another reason that it's not my favorite thing is I like to think of going to the range as something I would use for training in a real world situation. So if someone was trying to do that rainbow effect and bring the gun up in that arch motion against me, I would just put my hand on top of it. It's gonna take a lot more force for you to try to pick up than it'll take for me to just hold my hand on top of it so you can't bring the gun up. So it's not my favorite way for someone to draw that firearm. Now, the other type of presentation though is where does your other hand actually pair up to the gun? Is it way out here, then your hand gets there? Is it real close to you? And uh, everyone's gonna have a slightly different take on this. Um, I like to just think about it if my hands were out in front of me and I start bringing them back and I'm pressing them against one another, at some point it's not really comfortable. And uh, right here, definitely not comfortable. Right here, I have a good amount of pressure, so I'm gonna say roughly one foot away from my chest is where a comfortable position and a natural position for me would almost be. So for mine, when I go to draw my firearm, what I'm gonna do is point it down so it's actually towards someone's pelvic girdle if I needed to take a shot here. So as I start creating my space, I could pair up that second hand to it or if I was just drawing my gun and moving forward, standing still, whatever it's gonna be. So I clear my garment, grab my firearm, again, pelvic girdle, and now start pressing it forward. So if I needed to shoot right here, nice and close, although uncomfortable, I could still do this quite accurately. And as I present it straight out in front of me, I could make sure I'm shooting not from only this position, but from every position the whole way back because of how I practice. So that's something that's pretty cool, is uh, the quicker you can get your gun pointed or presented at your target, the faster you can start pulling the trigger. So if you start down here and you're bringing it up for that rainbow, it's gonna take you a while until you can do it. But from here, as soon as that gun comes out, you could begin engaging as you're presenting it that entire way forwards, so definitely, to me, it makes more sense to get your gun on your target as quickly as possible to neutralize the threat. Now, uh, that's my own personal opinion. And, and at the end of the day, we all have an opinion. So you might vary in that, and that's awesome. That's one of the greatest things in the firearm community is that we all have a different method, and they all work. But what you do works better for you than maybe what I do. So I'll stick to mine and you stick to yours. And at the end of the day, hey, I'm just glad we're all on the same team here. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope the presentation part kind of helped, maybe answered a couple questions of what you might have been wondering when you get out to the range, if you thought maybe you were doing it wrong because you see someone else doing it. Uh, just remember, we all have our own method of doing it. And depending on what your skill level is, you might have these questions and don't be afraid to ask someone else why they do it slightly different. So if it works better for you, try it out and uh, you know start training that way. If it doesn't work, no problem. Try a different method so that you can find something that's perfect for you. Thanks again.